So somebody tagged me in this really cool mod on TikTok the other day. This mod is called the Guard Villagers mod, and seriously, look at this right here. This is a villager with a literal sword. This is kind of crazy. Today, we're going to check out this mod. If you liked today's video, consider leaving a like on it. It would really help me out. If you aren't subscribed yet, definitely change that today. There's a subscribe button down below the video. I post a brand new video every single day, and each video is better than the last one. At least I hope. If you don't like the videos, you could always unsubscribe later, but I promise, you'll like the videos. The Guard Villager mod is a really, really cool mod. The mod is all about exactly what you would think it would be about. Guard Villagers. Villagers with weapons that defend the village. Like, look at this guy right here. A literal sword and a shield. I still can't get over it. And they walk around and you can give them armor and everything too. It's really, really cool. And they don't only get swords. They can get like bows and crossbows too. Uh, crossbow guy right there. Look at that. With a gold armor. What are you doing? You fool. You fool. Gold armor? No way. Don't do that. Here's one with a sword in it. Wait, 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 we've seen that one. We've seen that one. Sorry, guys. Here's another crossbow one with a sweet arrow backpack. That's really cool. But I can't find a villager with a bow. Small problem. Unless we find a villager that doesn't have a job. And then we just give the, the villager... Okay, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess this doesn't work with a bow. I'll show you how to do it later. But if you find a villager that is unemployed or is a nitwit and you walk up to it and shift right click with a crossbow or a sword, you can actually turn that villager into a guard villager, which is really sweet. So right there, a brand new guard villager. This stuff is so cool. Now, let's say I was the hero of the village and then I walked up to this villager and then pressed right click. Then I'm going to actually be able to interact with the villager's menu in here. We can actually equip armor to the villager and change the weapon too. So I can take that and give you a bow. Now you have a bow. Check that out. Nice, nice villager. That's so cool. We could even, if we wanted to, fully stack this villager out right here with some diamond and netherite armor. Like, look at that. The villager can literally wear diamond and netherite too. Now it's got a bow and a diamond and netherite armor. This guy is an absolute unit. It's going to be entirely unstoppable in a raid. Hey, speaking of a raid. Okay, not yet though. So here are all the village back over in the village here. This villager has a sword and a shield, and we can actually see that right here. If I want to, I could actually interact with the villager and take the sword from it, and then it literally loses its sword. So these items that the villagers have are actually real items. Same with the armor, everything like that. They're real pieces of armor, real everything. Now, I haven't tested this one out. I want to see if this is possible. Hey, guard villager, guard villager. You, Yeah, 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 with the chain armor. How about you? Can you take, um, oh... Okay, I lost the effect. So yeah, if you have the hero of the village effect, basically, because you are the hero, these guard villagers respect you, and you can actually interact with them. If you lose the hero of the village effect while you're interacting with them, everything freezes and locks up, you can't do anything. So crossbow, uh, give me that. Trident? Oh, <gasps> no way. No way, no way. You can get a trident too? Oh, that's crazy. What else can I give you? Okay, so the trident is cool, but how about maybe instead of the crossbow, Netherite axe? Oh, I can give you an axe too. Oh, this is overpowered. We're going to get these villagers like really stocked up and then we're going to do a raid. But actually, maybe not this town. It's not really like a good town for a raid. Let's find a new one. However, before we find a new village, I want to check this out a little bit more. Oh, you have bread. You're eating. You're eating, dude. That's sweet. That's sweet. So how about this? Can we give you flint and steel? Why can you have that? You better not be able to use that. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Okay, give me that back. How about a turtle shell helmet? Oh, you look good. You look so good. It matches the eyes like perfectly. That's cool. Okay. Totem of Undyne. Okay. So can I literally just give them everything? I guess I can give them everything. I don't know if they can use it though. Are you going to be able to spawn more villagers? So I guess you can give these villagers a bunch of different items. And oh yeah, check that out. They can eat too to heal their health. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so I think we should go, like, really, really far away from that village because I've already checked it out and find a new village. Oh, a desert? That could actually kind of be perfect for a raid. Okay, so locate new village right here. Okay. Mm Oh, yes, Desert Village, and check that out right there. So when you find a new village, you're going to have six or so guards spawn in with that village. So one, two, three, uh, I think four, five, six, oh, maybe seven. Maybe we had seven this time? No, 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 I think it's just six. By default, the ones that spawn in with a village aren't going to have the best gear in the world, but they're going to have, like, decent gear. Like, this guy right here has iron armor, the other one gold boots for some reason, but then iron leggings to make up for it, crossbows, weapons, the guard villagers will always be armed when you find them. And then, like I said, if you find one that doesn't have a job or is a nitwit, you can walk up to it with a sword or a crossbow and actually just give it to it, and then you have another guard. Any type of sword seems to work too. So like a diamond sword even, another red sword would work, iron sword. Okay, so what I think we want to do is gear up every single villager. The villager doesn't have a job, it gets to be a guard. We give it a weapon, we arm it, get it ready for a raid. We're also going to want to trap one villager inside of a building just in case here. I'm not too sure how these guys are going to do against a raid. I haven't seen it quite yet. 
This mod is actually going to give new AI to two types of villagers as well, which is pretty cool. The cleric villager, the one with the brewing stand, those villagers are going to actually be able to heal the guards with regen potions, which is pretty cool. And then the smither villagers can actually heal iron golems with iron ingots, which is really, really cool. I love that one. That's like amazing. So what I think we want to do is definitely block that window off. And then I think maybe we, we give this village a cleric and a smith here too so we can see if like the villagers could be like entirely self-sustaining kind of doubt it a random villager definitely gonna have to get rid of this cactus that's gonna be bad for sure okay so everything should be perfectly in line now in place ready to go i set my spawn over here outside of the village just in case you never know and then i gave myself a little bit of gear it's not like the best gear in the world but it's gear it is better than nothing and then extra supplies for the raid and then also i got the bad omen effect i'm thinking that we're gonna move into the town and the raid's gonna start there's this gigantic ravine right here hopefully this isn't going to cause any problems and if it does i guess we go down there and take them out ourselves hopefully it'll be fine I don't want to stress the villagers out too much, so we're taking this thing on on normal difficulty, which means five waves of this raid. So hopefully we'll be able to deal with it. Hopefully the villagers can actually deal with it. I have guards all over the place. I gave us a regen villager uh, right over here. There's the workstation. And then a smithing villager. There's an iron golem somewhere. To be honest, I don't know where it went. But raid wave one. Okay, so we're actually just going to dip out right now and just see what happens. I want to see if the, the guards will act. Oh, they're guarding. No way. They actually do it. They actually do it. Oh, no way. That pillager doesn't stand a chance. Look at that. Easy. Gone. Completely erased. And then these ones. What are you doing in the field? Come on. Okay, so these guards are like tanks. We might not even need to help at all. This is crazy. Uh, we're back in survival, though. We never left survival. I've been here the whole time. All right, so wave one clear. Now, boys, you're going to have to stand back for a minute so I can at least take one out. I need to get that hero of the village effect, okay? So it's going to literally be a race against the villagers, I think. Okay, okay, there they are over there. Maybe we can just head out of the town right now and, and just take one out before they do anything. If we don't take a single one out, then we don't get the effect, and that's not good. Hey, 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 don't. Okay, okay, cool. We got one. We got one. Well, that's all we needed to do these things are units look at this with the evoker the evoker didn't even stand a chance hey hey that's friendly fire my guy come on come on don't don't be like that no way these guys are so overpowered and uh these guys are all like base tier armor too like like just iron swords and shields and like crossbows oh that's crazy these guys are the right doesn't even stand a chance okay wave three though does that mean there's a ravager I, I think there might be a ravager on wave number three which could oh they're throwing potions too oh my guy coming in clutch that's amazing how about ravager though where's the ravager is there a ravager this wave no no okay oh man that's too bad that's too bad <laughs> the villager crouches too sometimes i don't know uh, do it again do it again do the crouch come on somebody wait did i hear a oh there is a ravager oh no way no way no way that's not good that's not good oh did it go oh oh no guards are getting taken out left and right here the ravager is too strong all right well these ones are kind of stuck here so let's just go ahead and get rid of these ones hopefully the ravager isn't going to be able to take all of the guards out in the town that's kind of a big problem it's like cleaning through the town and cleaning them all up oh that's not good ravager stop it stop it stop it stop wow okay so the guard villagers are like balanced unfortunately uh like meaning like like if there's a ravager like like the guards they're gonna turn back into items so that's tragic that's tragic i'm sorry boys i'm sorry i'll help it seems like there's a fair amount of the guards left though but no side of the iron golem i have no clue where the iron golem went i haven't seen it the whole raid i think it just dipped out of the town and knew what i was doing and just left okay so it's gonna be interesting to see how these raiders actually like stand now oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry it's gonna be interesting to see how they do now that they have like way less of them but they're actually oh no okay i gotta stop i gotta stop enough with the bow they're not taking them out as quick anymore because obviously there aren't as many of them but they're still like holding up like they're doing okay there's like what two of them left and somehow somehow they're they're holding in uh, maybe we need to get some more guards though Oh, yeah, like so many of them were taken out. That's tragic. Reinforcements, reinforcements, reinforcements. Let's go, let's go. We have a raid. All right, so I found more guards. Hopefully, this should be good. There's a Ravager out there again. Oh, those things. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that pack is going to add that. Okay, that's new. That's new. We're going to have to be careful with that. Oh, it went down into the ravine. They're in the ravine. My boy, my boy, take it out in the ravine. Vex, go, go away, away, go away. Oh, and it jumped down. Well, I guess that wasn't that bad. Okay, so the Vex things are so annoying, and the guards, the reinforcements that I just called in, got, like, absolutely wiped out over here. I don't even know what happened. They just got... Oh, okay. All right, that... Yeah. All right, so it's not looking good. All right, so wave number five of the raid, I think, and the guards aren't doing good. I just called in the second round of reinforcements. They're tanks now. They've got it locked down. But, yeah, they don't do good against, like, a large amount of higher-tier raiders. It's just dangerous. 
Oh, but here we go. Sweet victory. We've done it. I am the hero of the village, and check this out. Now that I'm the hero of the village, uh, well, well first off, just in case, we're gonna hold this. Now that I'm the hero of the village, I can command the guards, which is pretty sweet. And actually, check this out. So when we're commanding the guards, we can actually give them different jobs. So if I switch this toggle on right here, oh. All right, well, that's tragic. That's, that's great. That's great. I guess they don't care about the Vexes. They won't take Vexes out. Fine, I'll do it myself. Here we go. We have the hero of the village effect. If we interact with these villagers, we can actually give them different jobs now. So uh, this villager, the guard right here, we have this toggle right here, which is going to be like station in this area, patrol. You see that villager is like marching back and forth in that spot. That's what it's doing. Or option number two, we could actually just have these guards be my personal bodyguards now. Check this out. If I switch this toggle on for a bunch of these things, come on, boys, you're coming with me. They're going to actually follow me and guard me instead of the village we can basically turn them on the village and just take these guys home with us to our base and they're all getting regen too which is pretty sweet that's really kind of the villagers the villagers actually were able to survive the raid without having to spawn any of them in which is pretty nice check this out though come with me boys we're going back to the base forget the village these are my guards now. We could just, we could raid the village, defend it, and then seal all of the guards. Now, I wonder what's going to happen uh, if we lose the hero of the village effect. So, we're just us now. Do you, oh, you don't care about me anymore? That's cold. That, that's really cold. Wow. Oh, yeah, almost forgot to say, uh, if you attack them, then they're going to fight back. They're going to attack you, too. It's not going to be good. So, yeah, just don't attack them. The guard villager mod is seriously such a cool mod. It actually makes villagers able to defend themselves. And, hey, look who decided to come back uh, just in time for the end of the raid. Welcome back, my boy. Welcome back. That's going to do it for today's video, though. If you'd like to see more of the Guard Villager mod, leave a like on this video. If this video gets more likes than normal, I'll do something else with the Guard Villager mod. Maybe take on the hardest raid possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, final chances right now. Huge, huge thank you to my patrons, Bruce Renegade Baby and Bill Geek. Your support directly helps me make videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. There's a link to the Villager Guard mod down in the description below. Highly advise you check it out for yourself. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.